play Liam. All right, I am Liam. I am going to be using um, solution-based therapies today and trying to work in hopefully circular questioning and some open communication. Um, all right, so thank you both for coming in. Um, before we start, I just want to let you know um, everything in here that we talk about is confidential um, unless you talk about unless you're planning on hurting yourself, a child, um, or an, um, an elderly person, and then I'm going to have to break that confidentiality. Uh, but anyways, um, Liam, James, welcome in. I would like to hear a little bit from both of you about um, what is bringing you in today. So um, Liam, would you like to start? Hi, my name is Liam. I um, we're here because I'm frustrated about our situation. Um, James continues to make comments about a cheating infidelity situation that happened a couple of months ago. So now we're here. So I'm I'm hearing there's there's some trust issues going on um, on your end or. Um, and that's been frustrating for you. Yeah, I feel really sad and remorseful about what, what, about what I did and what happened um, and what I did to James. We've been married for 10 years. Um, but mm -hmm. I've apologized and we've chosen to continue to be together. But I don't feel like he is on the same path or page. Mm -hmm. and, and James, what is, is your perspective on all this? I'm just so hurt. I just, my dad had, had cheated on my mom and now Liam's cheated on me. And, and I just, and I, I, I lost my job and I'm currently not working and I just don't feel good about myself. And, I just don't know if I'm good enough for Liam and if he really wants to continue mm -hmm. this relationship. And I just feel like, I just feel like he doesn't love me anymore. And that, you know, we've invested all this time, but I just, it's hard for me to trust him. Mm -hmm. So James, I'm hearing from you um, similarly as Liam's feeling um, that it's just, it's difficult right now for you to trust one another. Um, and that's what we're trying to work through. Um, James, I would like to ask you, um, so you mentioned, you mentioned the relationship with your father and him um, being unfaithful to your mother. And I just come kind of curious how you feel um, that's influenced your stance and your perspective on, on rebuilding trust, um, whether they, your parents were able to do so, um, what you felt they could have done differently. Um, yeah. I think that, I think that because my dad did it more than once and that mm -hmm. my mother found out, but she tolerated it. And that's not something that I'm willing to do. And so mm -hmm. for me, it was really difficult for me to like, feel like that Liam's not just because he said he ended the relationship, but it happened with one time. Is it going to happen again? Is it going to happen over and over? And my, mm -hmm. my father just, he ruined it because of, I have issues with trust. And so I think that has gone over in our relationship now even more so because of the fact that this affair happened six months ago it was somebody mm -hmm. in his firm he still continues to see this person even though this person's uh, you know the relationship's mm -hmm. over the person's still at his work and how does right. that make me feel I mean where, where is my self-worth when I don't work or I don't have any purpose so that's where my insecurities come from. Okay, and and um, Liam, I'd kind of like to hear your perspective on on the idea of rebuilding trust as well, um, and 
if you feel you have taken steps for James to trust you again, and um, either if, if you have or have not, what other potential concrete steps that you feel would maybe benefit um, the situation? Because I know you're not feeling uh, trusted as well, so. Yeah, definitely not feeling trusted have made me behave in a way that maybe it's not good for our relationship. Um, I spend more time at work because James always has something to say or wants to check my phone. So I just go to the gym or I stay mm -hmm. to avoid the situation and conflict. So I think that doing that not good, but maybe just spending more time with him will change mm -hmm. that. If he didn't have so many comments about what happened. Mm -hmm. And I think when he stays, I think when he stays at work, it makes me feel even more insecure. Is he really staying at work? Is he really at the gym? So. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, yeah, for both of you, I'd have a question was, were there any issues of trust um, prior to Liam's affair or before that, was it relatively um, peaceful? You guys were, were trusting one another. I would um, James, say, if you want to start. Yeah, I would say yes, for sure, that we were in a trusting relationship until mm -hmm. the affair. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wouldn't you agree? Liam. Definitely, I was always at work. My career, just being a lawyer, it doesn't allow me to always be at home. But when we went to places, we were fine. We were trusting mm -hmm. each other. We didn't have as many problems as now. Mm -hmm. And and kind of on that note, I mean, I, what are some areas in your relationship that are still working? Uh, maybe where times when there's less distrust between the two of you. Um, I'd be curious to hear what those are. I'm James, if you want to start. Sure. Um, let's see. I think when we go out of town, when we take Lydia, you know, go away for the weekend or go to our friends, um, when we mm -hmm. do activities together. So when he actually is not avoiding me and when I can actually spend that quality time with him. Mm -hmm. Those are the moments. Absolutely. Okay. And, and Liam, how about how about for you? Are there uh, I think specific that times? Other people are not involved, like too many friends or friends mm -hmm. that James doesn't feel really comfortable with. Um, if we go anywhere together, we'll have a great time no problem and we talk about family we talk about future we talk about everything but once a certain moment okay well yeah i'm i'm still hearing that there's a lot of positives remaining in this relationship um you know it's it's clear that you both both care about it and value it because you're here um you know if you didn't you wouldn't be here and so I, I commend you for that and being willing to work work through it. Um, and sorry, one sec. And so, I, yeah, I guess I'll, along those lines, I mean, what are some some areas moving forward that that you want to keep the same? You mentioned spending that time together um, and feeling comfortable then, and there's less issues. Um, Maybe in, in addition to that, like what, what would you like to um, keep the same or potentially add into your relationship moving forward? I think maybe new activities. I would like to try new things with James that we haven't done, maybe travel uh, together mm. to see a new perspective. Now that you're mentioning that, I think that maybe even before a family, just the two of us, to rebuild that trust. Okay. I agree. I agree. I think that's the most important thing is rebuilding that trust between the two of us. So doing more and more things together and not avoiding each other. 
would be a good positive star. Good. Um, well, I think we've covered covered a lot of good ones today. Um, I would ask of both of you prior to our next session that you kind of take the time individually um, and separately to write some of these down, um, things that you want to keep the same um, as we move forward. And there'll be, you know, we're, we're working to um, improve on this relationship. So there will be changes. And so I'd like you to just choose what, what you want to stay the same and then we'll work, work from there um, in the next session to identify what we can, can work to change. Um, yeah, so thank you both for coming in today and I will see you in a week. Thank you. Thank you.